Donald Trump campaigned on a pledge to put the brakes on EVs. I will terminate Kamala's insane electric vehicle mandate. The Biden administration has pumped billions of dollars into the industry as part of his signature climate change bill, the Inflation Reduction Act. Legislation Trump has vowed to scrap. It's adding a layer of uncertainty for the Canadian government, which has doled out massive subsidies to compete with the U.S. We've seen over $40 billion in new investment into electrification specifically. All of that product is ultimately going to be destined for the United States. Canada's contracts were designed to align with their U.S. counterparts. One can decide, are we gonna, is, this, is this a good opportunity for us to uh, quietly uh, drift away? or is it uh, the opportunity for us to, to double down? Another question mark, what will happen to the U.S.'s Environmental Protection Act? If it does roll back, it means that there will be uh, less, of a, less, less of an obligation for car manufacturers to provide more and more electric cars to the market. But when it comes to climate change and clean energy, his billionaire backer could hold sway. Fight, fight, fight. Elon Musk is the CEO of Tesla, the largest EV manufacturer in the world. Since Trump's victory, shares in his company have surged. When Elon Musk decided to support him, he said, well, it's hard for me not to support electric vehicles because Elon Musk is such a big fan of ours. So we'll see how that plays. Trump may also face pressure to soften his stance from Republican states. EV battery plants are being built in Georgia and Tennessee, and governors don't want these projects or the jobs that come with them to disappear. Taria Isri, Global News, Montreal.